Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Royal Endurance Team Captain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has won the Montalcino International Endurance Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser finished first in the 160 kilometer race to claim another major trophy and confirm the standing of Bahrain's endurance sport. Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, Deputy Chairman of the High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, attended the event. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the royal team's participation in the race achieved its goals in order to qualify in the upcoming World Championship. His Highness stated that the first places achieved by the team in the 160 kilometer and 120 kilometer races confirmed the team's standing in the European sports arena. He praised the efforts and performance of the jockeys throughout the races, hailing their keenness to achieve positive results in the Montalcino International Endurance Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser finished first in the 160 kilometer race, which was held in six stages. Meanwhile, a jockey Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa did not pass the veterinary examination after the conclusion of the sixth round. Royal team jockey Mohammed Abd al Samad won the 120 kilometer race, while the jockey Yusuf Al Jabouri came in second place and Khalifa Jamal Al Sindi came in third place. Jockey Abd Rahman Al Khatri was able to successfully finish the 100 kilometer race for juniors, while the jockey Mohammed Al Rawai achieved fourth place in the 120 kilometer race for juniors. The 120 kilometer race witnessed the participation of the young jockey, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. الحمد لله على كل حال ثلاث سباقات على راس ثلاث انتصارات في سباقات مو بسهلة ابدا التحديات كانت فيها عالية والتحديات كانت هي مختلفة سواء كانت تضاريس ارض سواء كانت خيل سواء كانت منافسين اليوم الحقيقة كان يعني يوم ممتع طويل فيه مغامرات فيه امور يعني تحديات اضطرينا نغير خطتنا اكثر من مرة ولكن الحمد لله على المخلاص والحمد لله على التأهيل والحمد لله على الفوز وين كان الاستمتاع بالنسبة لك طويل العمر في المراحل؟ والله أنا مستمتع على ظهر هالحصان هذا حصان عظيم اكتشفنا بطل اليوم آه مستانس جدا أنا كلم جالة الملك اليوم واللي مفرحني الحين شوف مسابقة البست كونديشن بعد بيفوز فيها إن شاء الله ما شاء الله لأن الحصان في أحسن حال والمسافة هذه والسباق هذا أبدا ما أثر فيه الله ملك الحمد طول عمر هل هذه تباشير للبطولات القادمة ومنها بطولة العالم؟ إن شاء الله إن شاء الله أنا أعتقد أن هذه السنة سنتنا واللي يكتبها الله قسمة ونصيب إحنا بنجتهد ما راح نقصر والهادي الله الحمد لله على كل حال ما قصروا تابعناهم وأدوا أداء طيب والنتائج اليوم كلها ممتازة 
The organizing committee of the Montalcino International Endurance Championship held a ceremony honoring the winners of the races in the championship, which witnessed the achievement of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who won the title of the 160 kilometer race with the participation of several jockeys from European countries. On this occasion, His Highness affirmed that these good results achieved by the royal team embody the support that equestrian sport in general and endurance sport in particular enjoy from His Majesty. Majesty the King and the interest and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He expressed his happiness for winning first place in the 160 kilometer race and winning the 120 kilometer race and 100 kilometer race, which confirms the high potential of the team and the outstanding efforts made by the riders in the championship. His Highness said that the tournament witnessed high challenges different from the previous tournaments, but added that the team was able to successfully overcome them, which confirms the capabilities of the jockeys. He added that these good results will motivate the royal team for the next stage, which is the World Championship, and added that the team will continue to make efforts to reach the full readiness for the World Championship. His Highness praised the efforts of the jockeys and the members of the royal team. Under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, an opening ceremony was held for the first international shooting and hunting exhibition held at the headquarters of the Bahrain Shooting Association, BSA. The exhibition is held under the supervision of the GSA in cooperation with the BSA and organized by the Diplomatic Protocol Communications Company. The ceremony was attended by a number of their highnesses and excellencies and ambassadors and invitees. On the occasion, His Highness expressed pride in opening the exhibition, which embodies the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop Bahraini sports. His Highness added that the organization of the exhibition reflects His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's support of the sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in supporting various sports through initiatives and programs that aim to promote sports for the youth. His Highness hailed the efforts of the GSA in cooperation with the Sheikh Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and BSA headed by Sheikh Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa and the Diplomatic Protocol Communications Company to hold this exhibition. He wished that the exhibition would achieve the goals and aspirations that support the sport and its development. His Highness toured the exhibition where he was briefed on the techniques used in the field of shooting and hunting and the products and modern tools it offers. His Highness also also met with a number of participants in the exhibition wishing them continued success.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, opened the Elements Jiu Jitsu Academy. His Highness Sheikh Khalid toured the academy and was briefed on the services provided by the venue. His Highness noted the role of sports academies in enhancing sports goals and encouraging healthy lifestyles. His Highness also affirmed the importance of the contributions and partnerships of these academies with other sporting bodies to develop the sports level that bolsters the status of the kingdom in sports events abroad. His Highness commended the owner of the Elements Academy, Ali Min Faridi, for his efforts in serving Bahraini sports by opening this multi-purpose academy, which will embrace sports talents in various games, especially combat sports and fitness. In addition to creating the appropriate atmosphere for athletes to prepare them for sports competitions abroad. Meanwhile, His Highness expressed pleasure in the academy, hoping that it will be a new addition that supports sports in the kingdom. He also lauded the efforts of the owner, who is a model for an outstanding athlete who was able to make his way to success in the sports of jiu-jitsu. Under the patronage of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kuwait, Sheikh Ahmed Nasr Mohammed Al Sabah, and in the presence of Gulf and Arab officials, the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, was honored at the ceremony of the sixth session of the Humanitarian Work Award for the year 2022, which is organized annually to honor the elite in the field of humanitarian work at the regional and international levels. The President of the Supreme Council of Health recorded many achievements in various fields, especially the health field where he contributed mainly to the development of the comprehensive health system in the Kingdom of Bahrain to provide the best uh, treatment and diagnostic services. U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain Stephen Bondi has also stressed the close relations between the two countries and affirmed that the two countries are endeavoring to expand uh, their partnership across all areas. He stressed the significance of the free trade agreement in strengthening the bilateral trade and investment relationship. He stressed that expanding commercial relations with Bahrain is a U.S. government priority as well as supporting businesses that benefit the sectors of both countries. He emphasized that the U.S. and, and will also continue to be Bahrain's closest partner for advanced defense systems and equipment. He added that the United States looks forward to the initiation of direct flights connecting the two countries and said that with the new 10-year multiple entry visa for Bahrain citizens, business and tourism travel is expected to boom. The Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, TRA, in Bahrain held an open forum on its draft work plan for the year 2022-2023 to present their ideas and opinions on the draft in the presence of representatives from the telecommunications sector. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and Consumer Rights Protection Organizations, through this plan, the authority seeks to implement the government's policy stipulated in the fifth national telecommunications plan, ensuring a flexible and secure work network for all users, providing and developing comprehensive comprehensive high-speed broadband services for all and reviewing regulations and laws related to the protection and empowerment of consumers. TRA Director General Philip Marnik has expressed pleasure in the great turnout witnessed by the first open forum organized by TRA, which provided the concerned parties, especially consumers, a valuable opportunity to present their ideas and opinions and help draw a work map and achieve the best results for the benefit of the consumer in Bahrain.